Hi guys, welcome back. Back to the job in Godalming. We're now on the roof. It's been a bit of a hectic week. I wanted to do a few more videos than I have done. Just managed to do a couple of shorts. But yeah, so I'm going to give you a run through of the roof, how far we've got. About just under halfway at the minute. But I'm going to show you some critical stuff that we've been doing to speed the job along. So let's have a look. So as you can see, the ridge steel that I was talking about is in place. That's been uh, webbed out and then a uh, nice big 8x2 ledger locked each side to it. And our ridge is an 8x2 sat on top of that. So that goes out, like I said in a previous video, the length of this building is around 15 and a half meters intern, uh, external. So we've done a nice uh, 50 degree splice there. That'll have another ridge timber set on, which is on the floor here. That'll go out, that steel will go up underneath that, as you can see what we've done there. And it'll be picked up with a pad stone built up in that gable wall. So yeah. So where I'm standing now, this is one of the bedrooms. As you can see, like we've got two 8x2 timbers here and two 8x2 timbers there. That's actually a Velux window going in there. So I'll do a video on framing out of them and stuff like that. But with a Velux, if you ever come to frame one out, it needs to be uh, 20 mil bigger than the size of the Velux. So if it's, example, 980 millimeters, you'd frame out at a meter or a thousand millimeters. Um, we've there's a couple of things i can show you guys that we've done as we've gone along it's made our lives a whole lot easier um when you come to insulating and stuff like that it's stuff we've picked up along the way so for example we've done all our setting out on this nice floor that we've got done all the setting out front to back back to front checked that we're happy with the rooms check with the client that they're happy with the room sizes so what we've done We've got our base plates in, bottom plates in for our 4 by 2s This is actually the ensuite for the master bedroom. And what we've done is we've gone an 8 by 2 rafter on the outside of this stub wall. So that'll allow, when it comes to plasterboarding, you've got a timber there, a full timber to tack to. So that works out nice. And if I go over the top, we've sandwiched a 4 by 2 in between. So what the 4x2 does, the 4x2 then essentially takes your stubble top plate that's there and then a raft for each side. So you've got 8x2, 4x2 flat and then an 8x2 on the outside. So that's, I call it a, a timber sandwich. But what it does, it eliminates you. So if you had a rafter, for example, where's a good example of this? So like here, for example. So if I've got a stub wall, going in the middle here like that between two rafters what it um what that does is i've got insulate up the back of that so i'd have to put noggins in like this to take my top plate and then i've got to get insulation hard insulation and on this roof that's 150 mil i've got to get that up the back of that to stop any cold bridging so putting the sandwich in is nice one thing i will mention if you're going to do this before your roof will start felt and batting get some insulation in the back of here so before your felt goes on your batten get some insulation in the back of that prior to your roof of starting and then again you take away any chance of any cold bridging um that this here where you can see this stub wall runs all the way through that, um, that is the master bedroom. And like I mentioned in the previous video, from that bit of block work there to that bit of block work, that'll continue up where it meets the rafter. Same on that side. And that'll all be um, a nice bit of gable glass with a anthracite gray frame to match the sliders that are going below. So yeah, it's been pretty hectic. There's loads more I need to show you guys uh, probably have to be on previous videos now but just another thing we've started cutting the rafter feet in an ideal world we'd get all the rafters in 
and then cut them all at one hit but our scaffolds come up another lift um, so our bricklayers can get these gables and stuff like that done but yeah so I'll do a, a full video on cutting rafter feet and the way the way that we do it or the way I do it um, the way I've been taught to do it uh, that makes it a whole lot easier for everyone you see all different people they own, all have their own ways of doing things I'm going to show you my way or, or the way I've been taught um, and I think it's probably the best way uh, but that's open to opinion for everyone so yeah there'll be another video a few more videos coming in guys I try and do some uh, some more how to's but this is just a progress one so the roof's looking pretty good should have the roof structure finished this week along with all the stub walls got a whole lot of insulating to do we've got a nice big grey concrete uh, plain tile going on Few, uh, eight veluxes in total yeah so thanks for tuning in guys thanks for watching make sure you follow and subscribe uh, hit the big hundred next is 200 I'll get another video on this week probably do like a how to on raft, cutting rafter feet or cutting a bird's mouth um, yeah thanks for watching cheers guys